Hey there, and welcome back to No Wonder Bricks. We got a special treat today as we start our $500 Tops 2022 Update Challenge. We got our trusty beverage of choice, and let's get started. So what we're breaking today, $300 worth of retail boxes. We're gonna break a total of $500 worth of every kind of format in 2022 update. Uh, right now, I'm gonna kind of break them up a little bit. I'll keep a running tab of the hits out of each product, and we'll let you know which uh, which product is best for you to buy out of this update series. So let's get started. Like I said, it's $300 worth of retail boxes. So let's see what we got. I got um, I got these for $100 a piece on. Dave and Adams. Well, two of them on Dave and Adams. One of them on, I think it was eBay, maybe. Let's see what we got. So, you can see they come with 16 cards per pack and a bunch of packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 24 packs per box. Without any further ado, Let's get started. I'll kind of keep them separate, um, box to box, see what we get. These are actually the packs that you could have bought in Walmart, where they had the little hanger packs, they call them. So, let's see what we get. <clears throat> this ought to be a fun little trip. I've already got most of the blister packs that I want to break, and a bunch of the other stuff, so I think I'm gonna Everybody knows what this product looks like, so let's just super rip these. I'll stack them up. We'll do about 12 packs at a time. Be a little bit quicker. Uh, I'm kind of breaking these up. Instead of doing the whole 500 at once, I want to do about 250 at once, maybe half, uh, so that the videos aren't an hour long. Seems like when you put an hour long video on, you don't really get as many people watching, so. We'll try to break it up a little bit. Hopefully it goes a little faster, super ripping. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the stars of the MLB side up. Cause we're gonna get a bunch of those. Uh, I really wish they'd kind of do away with the stars of MLB. It's just kind of a, they put it in series one, they put it in series two, they put it in update. And it's about a hundred cards, I think. There's certain players in series one, certain players in series two, so on. But in these, in most of them, they tend to get in the way a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and stack them to the side and I'll keep a total of stars of the MLB too. Um, or really after the hits, maybe even the Bobby 101, platinum. That would be a nice, Little hit, I saw black gold there. <clears throat> Some parallels in the black gold would be awesome. Um, I saw Lucky Peters today was breaking some hangers. We do have $500 worth of hangers to break too. Uh, that ought to be fun. They say hangers are bangers. So we will put that to the test and see. And let's get started. Oh, I see a bunch of the cards. Saw gold in there. Looking for maybe a gold Julio. That would be nice. Let's see. Is this an Altuve short print? Oh no. It's going to be an all-star. And we'll keep the stars of the MLB. There's a George Kirby. I think I'm breaking these backwards. Let's see. Try to keep these I'll try to flip them around because it's just easier on me when I go back to sort these out. I'm gonna make sets, um, maybe sell them on eBay. I don't know how much you can get for a set, but we'll soon find out. There's a Mullen Arenado All-Star. So we're starting off kind of slow. Anthony Rizzo, nothing as of yet. 
C.J. Abrams. He was one of the, he's got a short print in this, I think. I have to keep flipping here. Brad Boxa. Ultron Simmons, or something right there. I'm trying not to reveal it. Oh, it's just a black gold. I'll keep the Julios. That one's way off center. Short over here and fat over here. I'll keep the Julios, maybe over here. Martin Perez. Fernando Tatis Jr. That's gonna be our black gold. And behind it, the stars of MLB. <laughs> Kyle Tucker. <clears throat> Pena. Sears. Well, we haven't really got anything yet. There's a chrome Shane Boz starts with the MLB. So we'll keep those separate as well and count those. And as of yet, I don't think we've got a whole lot. There's another Julio. Yep, not a whole lot so far. And I'm gonna keep those in a box. I got a box down here. Looks like we got a Ruth Paragons of the postseason. These actually come numbered, but that one is not. There's a Duran. Well, we don't have a whole lot going on right now. <laughs> kind of slow. There's a Bobby Wood Jr. The stars of the MLB. Just a bunch of stars of the MLBs, huh? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go through these a little quicker. Get to the hits. Cooper Hummel. A Pena. You get a lot of these all stars. Uh, Brandon Crawford, that one's messed up on the corner. All right, there's a torque. Well, this one is not going very good. So we'll be breaking a lot of 2022 update over the next few months and uh, next few weeks I mean so this is not a good start hopefully it gets better than this um, striker was actually including oh, Corey Seager and it's going to be a gold Corey Seager oh it's got a little divot up there Corey Seager gold he was pretty good in the that one's way off center too in the or during the whole year there he did pretty good. Um, I think he was runner-up for the MVP. Jeremy Pena. Then we got an Andrew McCutcheon, 87 throwback. Reed Demers. Seth Lugo. So, so far, nothing really big. Corey Seager's actually awesome. Man. Bad OC. Bad OC job. A Bryson Stott. Oh, right behind it, we have another gold, and that's going to be Kirk McCarthy and Tanner Tully. And it's going to be 527 of 2022. So there's a couple of. Which way should I go here? I got all these cards backwards up to here. Okay. Man. Gonna have a lot of 2022 to sort. And this is all personal stuff, so I am gonna spend a lot of time putting sets together. And 
I will link my store below on eBay. You can buy one if you'd like. I don't know, what do you think? Like 50 bucks for a set? Free shipping? Um, that's, you know, with a $2, uh, come on, be a good retail. Be a good retail. Let's see what we got here. And Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. Josh Donaldson. CJ Abrams. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look what the price is on them and uh, see if I can beat it. I got to get some of this money back, but like I said, I'm doing this all for my own break. And for my own, with my own money. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. Got a rainbow foil coming up. Rainbow foil. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Caleb. Well, once again, not who we really wanted. But that's the, always the chance with this product, right? There's some good cards. And you can get left out in the cold. So the first half box revealed not a whole lot of hits or, uh, not a whole lot of star hits I guess the Tatis black gold is a good card but I'm trying not to reveal all these yeah. as I open them up let me go ahead and just speed through the opening keep the hits up there and we'll just keep them coming keep rolling on through them so I don't know if the autofocus on this camera is worth a flip but try not to just get all my hands in the picture and Shohei and there is a Shohei All-Star not focusing very well. Brandon Marsh. And we roll on. So what do y'all think of this retail product so far? Have any of y'all bought it? There's an Adam Ziegler Jack or Zach Jackson. And these are retail exclusives. So you get them in the retail packs. The hangers, um, I think you get them in the blasters occasionally. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, uh, retail purple or retail blue, whatever. I know the, the Meyer packs had a uh, blue card, which is a little bit different color than that one. <clears throat> We're just not really racking up the hits in this box uh there is a generation now bryson stock shane mcclanahan so hits are slow few and far between in this retail product now i did watch uh striker he usually adds or he used there for a while he was adding one of these torkelson he was adding one of these to uh all of his breaks and it appeared to be pretty good everybody saw that that was a pittsburgh roberto perez roberto perez spencer spencer torkelson so you, if you were hurting for stars of the mlb this is your product to get 
seems like one in every pack, just about. Um, here comes another retail and I see a die cut behind it. And then Byron Buxton All-Star. Let's see, pull this one out. Max Scherzer actually got a numbered one of these. It was numbered like one of five, I think. I got that a while back in a jumbo. And Alex Colombo. Colome, Colome. Oh man. This is not going so good. But hey, we roll on. There's the guy we don't want. <clears throat> and it felt like I actually got this in a in a parallel, I think a gold. Alright, we got another. Oh, we got something behind this. I saw it. Or I saw the number on it. Uh, I think it was numbered to 99, so it's probably one of those like um rainbow foils or whatever. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a cub. Ethan Roberts. And it's gonna be a vintage stock. And there's a gold right behind it. And it's gonna be a... Man, we're getting the two player cards pretty regularly in the parallels right now. And this vintage stock Ethan Roberts, he's a rookie. He's a pitcher though. So vintage stock. I know a lot of people think this is like one of the lesser of the inserts. I mean, it may be. Uh, it's numbered to 99, 25 of 99, 26 of 99. So, Ethan Roberts, vintage stock. Hit or not a hit, who knows? We'll call it a hit. And we roll on. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to get a drink of my beverage of some type here real quick. So, and we haven't got a thing but a stack of stars of the MLB. Like I said, I'm gonna keep track of all the hits and what we get from each box. There's a Bobby. A Bobby. What we get from each box. Um, then kind of compare them to see what is the best product to buy. And there's gonna be a Stephen Kwan generation now. Carlos Correa. And nothing really. Carlos Rodon. Oh, there's a short print. Carlos Rodon short print. Making a scowly face. Sour face. I've never hit this card before. I didn't know that they made a short print of Carlos Rodon. But let me check it out. And the number 259. And what's the number on these? 241. So it is a short print. Carlos Rodon short print. So, I mean, I was looking for short prints. I love them. I didn't know that one was coming, but we'll take it. Not a star player, but he crushes a lot. And I think that'll probably be our only short print of the box. And we didn't really get a um, a numbered card. Well, we got the advanced stats, Ethan Roberts. Oh, we got something coming up right here. It's yellow. Could it be an O'Neal? Got a Trevor Story, Austin Riley. Let's see what it is. Oh, Nick Allen. He's a rookie. He's pretty decent. This is gonna be a gold foil board, I think it's called, or something like that. Nick Allen, so we did get a rookie 
in the numbered variety and it's numbered to 499 87 to 499 so it's another hit like I said we're gonna keep track of all our hits and help you decide what is the best product for you to get and it looks like that's the end of that box so I'm gonna kind of tally up what we got here and then we'll go on to the next box. We got one, two, three, four, Jeremy Pena, five, six, 87s. All stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all stars. Stars of the MLB, bunches. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a chrome right there. We won't cut that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So one per pack, basically. And then we got two of the chromes. We got a Reed Detmers and a Shane Boz. We got two Paragons of the postseason. Randy Rosarina and Babe Ruth. And we got Two generation nows, Bryson Stott, Stephen Kwan. We got three of the rainbow foils, and that's Roberto Roberto Perez, Caleb Thielbar, Thielbar. and then we got the uh, rookie combos for the Reds. Three of those. We got three of the retail purples, Alex Colom, this rookie combos, and Nick Senzel. So we got one of the, what are these called? I don't remember, diamond grape dime, die cuts. Might as well go and put this in the thing here. Diamond grape die cuts, Max Scherzer. And then we got two golds, one rookie combos, one Corey Seager. We did get a Nick Allen green foil board, green emerald foil board to $4.99. We got a Carlos Rodon short print. We got a Ethan Roberts advanced stats to 99. And we got a Fernando Tatis black gold. So that was box number one. I think we'll do box number two in a separate video. So I'll probably just do box by box. And thanks for watching. Don't forget, go to cardshells.com. Uh, enter code no wander. That's N O W A N D E R at checkout for ten dollars off your first order and i guess you can pick up all the stuff you need they got these little stands nifty little stands all kinds of stuff so it's all i use um it's great stuff thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and turn on those notifications so you're informed each time i post a new video thanks